Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you're having a beautiful morning. Listen, guys, I want to show you all my shirt. Ah, check that out. So this shirt was designed by Chris over there at Back Tower Roots Homestead. Y'all see that? Ooh, you gotta love that thing, yeah. But listen, guys, today I stopped in. I wanna share with you all. I did get a seed haul. Also, I'm gonna give you an update on my fig trees. And there's more, I'm just, it's raining, it's raining. But anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. Yay, yay, yay. I went to bed last night thinking about these figs this morning. Look at that. So this is the LSU Gold. This one have that gold tint on it. Look. Yeah, yeah. Is it ready? Is it ready? Ooh, this thing look good. So listen, <laughs> it's early in the morning, y'all, and <laughs> oh man, let me see, I just want to feel her, oh yeah, 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 she's soft, but one thing I noticed also is that they had ants running around her little, her little belly button, but this one here, yeah, that one, so I don't I don't want to take her off and she's not ready. It still feel a little, just a little tight. I'm gonna wait. We'll see what it looked like this evening. Yeah, at least that one right there and this one. These are the two that we're thinking may be ready really soon. Yeah, this one too, this one. She's a little bit harder, but she, yeah, she got a, mm. So this is my purple. This is my LSU purple. So let me feel it. Oh yeah, it's soft. It's soft. Let's see. It's soft, but yeah. I'm gonna leave her. She's not soft enough. Let's see what it looked like this evening. Or what it feel like this evening. <laughs> all right guys so i want to share with you also i got a mail call yes this mail call is from my beautiful niece and nephew y'all know shower and chris over there at back to our roots homestead right yeah so let me just share this one with you this is jade beans jade beans now I've seen their harvest of these beans and they are amazing. They had great harvests from these beans. And mm -hmm, I dropped some already. <laughs> yes, I want those beans, y'all. And these uh, carrots, look at those carrots. Yeah, that's, that's the carrot. But my goodness. I am so amazed. Listen, I'm going to drop this today. I'm dropping it today. It's Saturday. I'm going to drop them today. This is some Georgia Southern Creole collars. Yeah, you got to know I love this. Thank you so much, my sweethearts. I love it. Also, we have some Japanese giant red mustards. Mm-hmm. Y'all know. Yes, we will be dropping those. And Wagner Blue Green Tomatoes. Mm, that sounds interesting. I've never grown that one before. But I thank you, Christian Cheryl. This is so wonderful. This is some Pineapple, a.k.a. Mr. Stripey Tomatoes. 
That sounds great. I mean, awesome. Mustard, Southern Giant Curl. Look at that. Mmm. Man, my fall garden is going to look amazing. Yeah. Tatsoy. Tatsoy. So, if you've never grown Tatsoy before, let me give you a little peek about this. So, if you are a supporter of Turf Therapy, Turf just did a video on the harvest of his garlic. All right? So, if you go check that harvest out, he will bring you back to when he planted his garlic. And in the bed that he planted his garlic in, yes, there's a tetsoy in that video. If you look right behind his arm as he's planting his garlic, you will see a tetsoy. There is one. Now, I've grown tetsoy also many times. They are delicious. And they're not only delicious... <laughs> they are beautiful. Yes. Grow some tatsoy. So we're definitely going to drop some of those for our fall garden. Rapini. Broccoli rapini. Yes, guys. Also known as broccoli rob. And definitely we dropped in this. Yes. That looks so good. All right. Morris heading collards. Yes. Y'all know we're doing this thing for the fall. It's going to be amazing. This is more uh, that jade bush beans. And I'm more than sure these beans are from Cheryl and Chris's garden. Beautiful. Thank you, my babies. I love this. I love it. Also, we have some Johnny Select Seeds. And this is Kale Black Magic. Never had Black Magic. Or have I had black magic before? <laughs> but I love it. I can't wait to grow it. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is my seed, right? It's a, I'm, something I wanted to drop outside. But also, they sent me this beautiful card, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to read it. Let's see. And it says, uh, hi, Miss Linda. Thank you for being you and for all you do. We thank God for allowing our path to cross. Love ya. We love you, Cheryl and Chris. And I love you guys too. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> thank you so much, my babies. I appreciate it. And many of these seeds definitely I'm going to put in the soil as I said I've already dropped some jade beans and many of them I will put on my little starter table at the end of this month all right guys thank you All right, guys, so this is white soul strawberry. All right, I think it's white soul strawberry or soul white strawberries, but 
it is from Baker Creek and I started these strawberries from seed and you see that you see that <laughs> my first white strawberry from Baker Creek and here it is um, um, it's not um, at its peak yet because as you see it's very small but yeah there she is and there's a lot more flowers on here and so I'm looking for more strawberries to come up to show a bigger one but it's small it's a lot. but there's still lots of flowers and yeah I'm looking forward to more and then I'm looking forward to tasting them because you know that's the whole purpose now these are yeah now guys they could be um now i dropped a lot of melons um i'm hoping that they are one of those like the banana melon or <laughs> one of them like that but there's so many of them that has been pollinated if you look up there there's two up there there's one there and there's another one right there and there's more over here and here. Yeah, they they, they all over. And uh, I'm just looking forward to them. The plant is nice and healthy. I'm just looking forward to seeing what they are. The leaves are very soft. At first, I thought they were um, uh, maybe a spaghetti squash, but they don't look like a spaghetti squash. These leaves doesn't feel like a spaghetti squash. These leaves are very velvety soft, very velvety soft. So I don't think they are um, spaghetti squash, no, but we will see what they are. <laughs> yeah. Part two of my sunflower harvest. Well, she's all dried and ready. And this is how easy it is to harvest your sunflower seeds. Yup, just rub, just keep rubbing. <laughs> and they're coming up beautiful. And this goes in the compost pile. And here, all of your beautiful seeds. Now I have more sunflowers ready. And if you don't harvest them, mm -hmm, the wildlife will. Yes, I have four beautiful sunflower heads. They're all ready to be harvested and put into a box to dry from all of this crazy weather we've been having here in New Orleans. But look at those seeds, y'all. And here are my four sunflowers going into a box and ready to be harvested. All right, guys, it is 5.30 p.m. It's my LSU go. Yeah. So they said that she would look gold and she would, her navel would be poppy and burgundy. And she's leaning. I'm going to taste her. Let's take her off. She's soft, she feels sticky. So let's taste. All right, this is the way she look. She's sticky, she feels sticky. I'm gonna bite her, y'all. Somebody help! <laughs> oh my god! Mm. Oh my! Oh, this is so good! Oh, it's so good! Mm. Oh man! Mm, it tastes like um, honey? Is there honey in this thing? Mmm! Oh, oh man. Bye.